just a quick troubleshooting guide if you're getting uneven bend lengths. There's a couple things to check. So the first thing that you can do is when you set something up to bend it, and it's let's say eight feet long or ten feet long, always best to bend it in the center uh, of the uh, of the brake press, and uh, you can find that pretty pretty easy. But I usually mark the center of my part that I'm bending, and I line it up there within an inch or two, and uh, that helps create even force along the bed. The next thing to double check is. Uh, in behind these covers right here, we have them removed, and there's uh, these bolts up here. And what this is, is it's like a wedge. This is wedging on here, and it's and it's uh, tightening here. And one thing we do is just, if you're getting uneven bend lengths and you've tried to test it from the center, the next thing you can do is set a torque wrench to about uh, 100 foot-pounds, and just make sure these are snug. Next thing you can do to double check uh, is if anyone's removed these dies, make sure things are all all seated square. And uh, you can get this dial indicator, and uh, usually a thou one thousandth of an inch on a, on air bending is what we're doing. If, it, if we're at one thou, we're it's one degree. So what I do is I come in here and I just swipe the. Uh, Swipe that until it reads zero, dial it in, and on every tool holder I just run it down and just double check. So you can see that's about a foul. That's at least it gives you an idea where to a base point to start. So you do that along the whole the whole die set and you can kind of get an idea where things are at. Now you really don't want to start messing with it. That's pretty that's a big job to get into, but at least if you know that that's all within five thou or you know 15 thou and your your bend is is out more than that that's a, a good place to start so start with the easiest things first and that make sure you're bending from the center make sure these things are tight if you're getting that issue and then you can come and do this and then from there uh, worst case scenario we can start adjusting that but only after everything's been clean and that's something that unless you've done it before uh, or you've been shown how to do it this video isn't telling you how to do that that's just to telling you how to check it. with these tool holders Everything is pushing on something else. So you can see looking at the side, this is pushing into this wedge that's pushing into this ram. So nothing it, nothing works off the clamping force. So you have to make sure these are nice and clean seated here if you're putting them back in. And you can go over the, the die seating procedure and how we do that. But uh, to adjust these, there, this bolt here holds a wedge in the back and you, you slightly just keep these snug and then you tap on this wedge and that actually pushes this down. Now again, this isn't a video on how to do this, it's just a video of understanding what the procedure is. So, and you can see that each die set needs to belong to the right piece to have this pushing against here, that's pushing against here. So you can see there are, uh, there are points where there's some shims in behind and there's, I believe there's some with shims in here. So it's important that when you take these out, label them, number them uh, for whatever reason. And that's just a good uh, helpful pointer of understanding. The last thing you can do is check uh, parallel, ram parallelism. So this, this brake press has one single ram forcing it up and there's uh, blocks and cams. So in the, uh, the bed of the brake press, right under this black guard you take this black guard off and there's blocks and and then behind the plate you can't see it but there's cams so these cams keep the uh, when when there's arms and stuff they keep the ram from going this way or this way because when it's sitting in the flat position it may be parallel but when it goes up it goes off on an angle so this is the procedure of setting this. Again, this is even more complicated than, than setting parallelism just on a die set. So what we do is, uh, there's the uh, handwritten procedure. You can pause it and read it. mention in 
in behind there are dot marks on the socketed cap screws and it was helpful uh, it, it's really hard to see but if you clean them off there are like center punch marks and it uh, helps you get uh, roughly aligned